Well, hello there, everybody. I hope you're feeling good and having a great day. Uh, we're going to be starting a brand new unit today, and that unit is the musculoskeletal system. And so in the name, I think you're picking up that we have muscles and a skeleton. So bones and muscles working together are definitely the focus of where we'll be going with this study. So let's review a few things that you may or may not already know about the muscular system. First of all, muscles move things. We're most familiar with that muscles move our bones. It's how we walk and how we jump and how we run and how we dance and how we play the piano and all the movements we make with our arms and legs and head and body. But let's not forget that we also have other muscles. We have muscles that move our food. We have muscles that we breathe with. We have muscles that even get rid of things like urine. These kind of muscles are the more involuntary ones. We don't really have to think about them. This kind of muscle is called smooth muscle because the skeletal muscle tends to be really fast and really strong, but it can't go on forever and ever. We can't run for 24 hours a day. We come to a point where we have to stop. But smooth muscle will just keep on going very slowly, very calmly, just like digestion. As the food moves along, we don't think about it. It takes hours to get food through our digestive system. But that's the, the beauty of smooth muscle. It moves slow and it moves steady. The other kind of muscle, this is cardiac muscle. This is your heart. It's really the only cardiac muscle in your body. It is a muscle that has the sole purpose of moving blood through your body. So it's a different kind of muscle altogether. In a sense, it takes the best of both worlds of the skeletal and smooth muscle. The skeletal muscle being very strong, so is the cardiac muscle incredibly strong. But when you take the, the concept of the smooth muscle, that it has this endurance to it, that it doesn't tire out, cardiac muscle also shares that same characteristic. It just keeps going, obviously. The only rest your heart really gets is between beats. And so your cardiac muscle, it really does take the advantage of the strength of the skeletal muscle and the endurance of the smooth muscle. So therefore, what all of this muscle has in common is that all muscle has the ability to pull or contract or, or bring itself inward and then let go and relax. So muscle tissue does not have the ability to push, it only has the ability to pull. And that's another thing we're gonna look at a little bit more as we get through this. So, I have a little bit of a sneak peek here. Um, it's very rare that we ever see um, someone called Dr. Seelis without her lab coat. Um, but for those of you who don't know Dr. Seelis, um, she has been our assistant at Dodd to fill us in on some of the finer points of some of the concepts that we've been studying. And so, since we're moving into the musculoskeletal system, we did do a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, and so we thought we'd give you a little bit of a window into how things are going with Dr. Seelis. Stretch, one stretch, two stretch, one step, two stretch. Touch your toes, jumping jacks, jumping jacks, jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Here we go, I can't believe how hard I'm working. I've got to get those kids in Dawn Middle School educated. Oh, okay, motivate yourself. Go ahead, you can do it. Oh, oh, oh. One more, just one more. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, oh, oh. Keep going, Dr. Silas. It's worth it for the Dawn kids. Let's do this. We can do this. I wonder if these kids could appreciate everything I'm doing for them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My goodness, this is some hard work. Look, the power, the power of the muscles lifting such weight under the force of gravity. Oh, no wonder they get so tired. Oh, I am working so hard to get ready for the musculoskeletal system. I don't know if they know how hard this is for someone like me. Oh no, it's too heavy. It's just too heavy. Oh, 
I lost it. These muscles, they are getting tired. Yes, they are very strong though, but boy, they get me tired out when I work hard. Huh. Whew. All this muscle workout. Ooh, I'm very impressed with how strong I am. However, I'm not very impressed in how tired I am. Seems like my muscles are quite strong, but they get tired out quite easily. Ooh, maybe that's why I'm breathing harder. Maybe my muscles are doing a lot of cellular respiration. Maybe that's why I'm breathing so hard. Maybe I need more oxygen. Oh, it all makes sense now. The more energy I use, the more oxygen I'm going to need. That's why when I run around, I have to breathe heavier. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Ooh, I get it. Oh, Dr. Seelis, yes, I do see that you are working quite hard to get ready to show us some of your wonderful ideas in the musculoskeletal system. So, um, in the meantime, what we're going to do is you're going to go back into the document that was shared with you on Classroom, and you guys are going to be um, doing the next activity, which includes reading a little bit of an article that goes over the differences between the different kind of muscles in our bodies. Um, and so that way that will set us up to really begin this concept of how our muscles work together with our bones to create movement in a system called the musculoskeletal system. So see you soon. Bye-bye.